Mustang back this morning. Seth's already ripped the wheels off of it. Um, the uh, the rim did repair. They did. They were able to get the wheel repaired. Uh, we took it over to get an alignment done on it and to get the uh, um, you know make sure everything is straight. So everything's good. Um, our alignment guy said it still might have a little bit of a shimmy. Ed, I guess he already went up front. I was gonna ask Ed if he. He felt a shimmy on it. Um, so Seth's just going through. He went through and smoothed out um, a lot of the nicks that were on top of it with some 180 like this. He just sanded them, uh, smoothed them out. You can see right here. Uh, and then all you do is just take your scotch bright, go around, scuff them all down. We've put up plenty of videos going over the wheels. Mustang's coming to an end. I have a potential buyer lined up. I'm not going to disclose the price or anything like that. Um, it's actually somebody I know through my Facebook That's uh, and has been following the YouTube. And so he actually jumped the gun uh, as soon as the video started coming out and started, uh, you know, wanting to know a price and kind of getting on it. So don't know if he'll come through and buy it. Uh, but if he does, it's definitely going to be a killer car for him. But I wanted to ask Eddie if he felt a shimmy in the uh, front end. So if you if he did feel it, if there is still a shimmy, then it's just that little bit of that wheel that can't uh, be gotten out. Basically, they explained that most of it was bent on the lip. Like I showed you all in the last video, the edge of it was bent. But there was some bend in the center. So basically, the wheel kind of had a little bend like that. So, Ed, did we have a shimmy in that front end of the Mustang? Good. I only got up to 65 because I was driving behind this uh, guy driving to Akron. He's going really slow, Courtney. Oh, yeah. It was, it was him. <laughs> no shimmy in the front end, so everything felt uh, felt good. So, and the the guys at alignments, they literally just warned me that you might feel a shimmy from uh, you know, or the guys from the rim repair shop. I'm sorry, said you might feel a shimmy from the way that it was bent but uh ed said he got it up to 65 it felt good so i imagine that when he got up to 65 he was in a 70 miles per hour zone somewhere that i wasn't even though he was following me uh because eddie's a law abiding citizen but uh everything uh, should feel good on that one seth about to pull her down off the jack stand. look at that color seth what you think about that color mm. That bad boy is tough, man. It's like root beer on the face. And then it hits gold on the inside and black. Y'all don't even ask me how much for that color. That was custom. That's what I can do when I'm playing around. And I don't have to be serious about my job. I can just do whatever I want. Man, that is tough, dude. I think we're going to put that on the 250. Man. Dude, I'm digging that. All right, so there she is all done. Got it together. Uh, hopefully uh, my buddy comes through today and purchases it. Not because we need him to purchase it, but just because I think he uh, uh, deserves deserves it. Um, you know, it, it is a really nice car. All the white stuff you're seeing is uh, from where we uh, buffed it and it's slung compound under there and we just didn't, didn't pressure wash under the hood, you know, add more water to it. But I think he definitely deserves it. So hopefully he comes through uh, you know, if he doesn't come through on it, then somebody's going to get a very nice car. 
Uh, but that's how it turned out. It turned out really good. I'm glad I bought this one. I'm not a dealer that uh, buys cars in their fillings, you know, just to be cool or whatever. But when I seen this, it was kind of one of them that I was like, I really, really want it, um, you know, and I wanted to do it. So she sounds super mean. You can hear it. Hold on. wheels turned out amazing i mean overall this car is just cool man i like how they did uh somebody removed the uh spoiler and put some filler caps in there it's not my favorite thing me being a paint and body guy you know i want to weld up the holes and paint and body work it but uh i'm here to make a couple bucks and not uh you know not customize everything that we do but i'm actually digging the uh the rear window and the spoiler delete so i think these cars definitely don't look good with a spoiler unless you do a big flat drag spoiler off the back of it which would look absolutely amazing if you were actually racing it the wheels turned out sick everything just turned out sick man so the interior is stupid clean for anybody that's wondering Seth's about to throw the back floor mats in it but uh I mean the leather's in good shape everything's in great shape uh, one little thing that we always do in our cars is we always put brand new floor mats in it. Most of the time, the floor mats that are in these cars are tore all up. If they're not tore up, then, you know, we'll obviously let you have the uh, originals and we'll leave the originals in there. But uh, in this situation, this car did not even have floor mats in it when we got it. So that's just a little thing we do uh, when we're selling our cars. But, man, I mean, I just, this car is awesome. For anybody that is wondering, the Facebook page where we post all of our cars for sale is uh, CRC Cars for Sale LLC on Facebook. So if you type it in on Facebook, uh, it should pull right up. We are in Wilmington, North Carolina. I think there is a CRC Cars for Sale in Fayetteville, but you're going to be looking for the one in Wilmington. We normally don't do um, higher price stuff like this. Uh, the way the economy is going right now, we actually just bought a whole truckload, about eight cars that are higher priced. Um, not Mustangs, uh, newer Chevy Cruises, uh, newer Ford cars, you know, stuff like that. We normally don't do a lot of pickup trucks. We don't normally do higher price stuff because everything we do is salvage total loss. This one was wrecked like you've seen in the videos. Um, I don't touch clean titles. I don't buy clean titles. I don't own clean titles. Um, so everything that we deal with is salvage. Um, therefore, when we sell something, you got to have a money bag. Uh, you have to you have to be able to afford it right out unless you're going to put it on the credit card we do do uh, square uh, PayPal Venmo we do all that uh, I'm not on the bandwagon when everybody's saying that they're not going to use the stuff because they have to pay their taxes on it which is mind-blowing to me because you should be paying your taxes anyway uh, we we accept pretty much all forms of payment um, besides personal checks I don't do personal checks but if you want to put uh, a car on your credit card if you want to purchase one on your credit card or um, you know whatever you can do it or if you want to go to the bank you can get a personal loan on some of these and then just bring us cash you know because most banks won't finance salvage but if you got uh, a money bag you got some cash and you're ready to spend it uh, check out crc cars for sale llc and you can probably find you a really nice car for way less than you will on anybody else's lot because normally we sell them under blue book or right now the market is so messed up that a lot of our stuff is at the bottom of clean title blue book actually um so and that's just because of supply and demand. Everybody else is, you know, when everybody else is two to 3,000 above you or when somebody, you know, most people are 1,000, 2,000 above Blue Book right now, then a lot of times we're falling in under Blue Book because you gotta remember when the clean title prices go up, the salvage prices, prices go up also. So we actually have to pay more now for a wrecked car than, you know, before. I'm actually almost paying double now than I was paying two or, two or three years ago. Some cars I'm paying double for now because the market is so crazy and we're seeing some blue book values go up you know a thousand dollars over two months sometimes more than that so it's crazy like comment subscribe share and we'll check you out on the next one
five. 